I'm happy that we were able to make the trilogy and able to tell this story and that it's not like we could just go and make it, that we needed the fans, we needed the people to kind of believe in, in this universe, believe in these characters, believe in Shepard's story. We've accomplished what we wanted to. We accomplished so much of what we wanted to. We told a story that had integrity and that chapter is now over. I feel like it is, it is right to move on, right to let that go. I think when you see just how impassioned the players get about their shepherd and about the characters that they've kept alive and the choices that they've made, that kind of tells me that along the way we did something right as far as really just creating an experience that people could really believe in. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. All of this, the whole universe, we've created this galaxy of stuff that is so much better than I think we could imagine this because we have this amazingly talented team. And I think the other thing that I'm really thankful for is the fact that we were able to get it all done. And if you think about all the games and or even studios over this eight years we've been working on this that got canceled or studios that got closed, and it's, it is a, a tough industry to be able to say that you want to finish three games and you're going to try and tell that story and then to get to the end and, and we were able to finish it all. It is pretty amazing. Amazing, and, and uh, we were very fortunate to have been able to get to the end and, and finish the process. In the entertainment industry, I think that we have a gift to be able to provide people with an escape, and especially in this day and age where people really need to escape more. I started out as just a Bioware fan like so many other people. I still remember the day I went to the store and bought Mass Effect 1, because I'm very excited. I've been following all the press on that game leading up to its release. Ran home and really just played the heck out of that game and was blown away by the universe they'd created and the characters and the story. I've been with these characters for a really long time and it does feel like seeing friends that you're probably never going to see again and a lot of bittersweetness to it. I go home and I talk to my wife and she, she looks at me and she goes, what's wrong? I'm like, you know, it's, you know you're getting ready to say goodbye to a very close friend. It's something that's been with me for six plus years now, so very aware right now. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. I feel incredibly lucky to be able to play a female character like this, to be able to play a leader who isn't necessarily a man or a woman, just a leader. He's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. Oh, that's Garrus. Yeah. <laughs> I love Garrus. I remember playing Mass Effect 1 and not being able to romance Garrus and being pretty, uh, pretty <laughs> upset about that. And then in Mass Effect 2, I remember the, the head touch. And I was like, ah, oh, this is all I needed. <laughs> For me, it was a uh, legion, and I think it's because I had his missions in ME2. I finished his missions in, in ME3, so I had this weird bond with his character, and I enjoyed his character a lot. Like, he was written well, and I'm going to miss that character quite a bit. Professor Morton Solis. I really liked Morton, mostly because he sort of made Omega for me. Omega sort of had its thing going for it, but it wasn't quite there, and it wasn't until Morton was standing there in it being what he was that I think it all kind of gelled and, and made a lot more sense to me. So Morden made a big chunk of the world work for me. And his finale is amazing, of course, so there's a lot to miss with him. I really love how much I was able to contribute to Morden's philosophy. I help people, sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous enemies. It felt like something that was deeper and a little bit more introspective than we were able to do in other parts of the game. Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. The Mass Effect fans are like on any other. At the cons, on Twitter, on Facebook, the passion and the expression of deep feeling about these characters and the connectedness to them is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'll forever be thinking about that. I think it really motivated the team to give it that extra little bit and in their own way say goodbye to some of these characters. I think that's why you're seeing a lot of the really strong scenes or performances sort of in, in the last year or so. We read you. Give me your location. The Mass Effect universe is huge, right? It's vast. There are so many different stories that we can tell. Shepard is one person in this universe, and him and his friends are great, and we've enjoyed them for all these years, but there are so many more things that we can show and talk about, so I'm really looking forward to working on what the franchise has in the future. In a way, it is bittersweet, but I'm happy to see the sunset on the entire trilogy. What we'll be able to do is bring something new and fresh next time around. And Shepard's story was one that obviously was meant to be told in three games, and I think now that we've told it, we can look back and learn a lot from what we've done, learn a lot from the story that we've told.
I think what's really cool about where we're at now is we still have one more piece to deliver, and that's the Citadel DLC. And then once that's out, the nice thing is that Mass Effect is not over, and we have a team that's working on the next Mass Effect game. And we're, we're thinking about what that would be and how we can bring back a lot of these things that we love about the Mass Effect universe and to continue to tell the story and to continue to find ways to live in this universe. So long, Commander Shepard. It was really fun being you.